Hello and welcome back to Mystery Systems. Today we will briefly show you how you can make a very simple eBGP configuration and put it up against two routers so they can share their BGP routes. I have mapped out this very simple topology where I have made a point-to-point -point network that these two routers talk with and then just an interface with an IP of a slash 24 so they both can see the route that they're both advertising in BGP. As first, I have gone to the router one. I have given that a host name, no IP domain logup. There's nothing more irritating than if you type a wrong command, then it starts looking up the domain and it takes quite a while for it to figure out that it was actually a typo. So this prevents that from happening. And I have given the IP address on gigabit 000, on this interface here, so that it points to R2. And I have given <coughs> my interface 001 the uh, IP of this, so it can make the local network that is as seen here. Then I have given it a loopback address, so it's easier to identify this router and manage it. So it has this loopback address. And at last we come to the BGP configuration. I have given this uh, AS number of 65100. Afterwards I make the uh, neighbor command that it has to form neighborship with this IP address, which is R2. And it's in a remote AS that is named 65200. And at last to end this with, I want to advertise the route 10.1.1 that's zero into the BGP. Same goes for R2, the host name has been given and the IP addresses on the interface, no IP domain lookup and the loopback interface. The other thing that, or some other things that is just different, or there is uh, quite a lot of things, the loopback address has a other IP address and the interfaces, but uh, BGP has this AS number, which is 65200, and it points to router1's IP address, and as I said before, it's in the uh, autonomous system number 65100. And on router2, you want to advertise the 10.2.2.0 network. So now I will just like to show you that my BGP configuration is actually operational, and a bit of show commands, how you can see that the configuration you have made is actually working. First things first is that I would like to see if they actually have formed a neighborship in BGP. And there you can use the command show IP BGP summary, where you can see if I type this into router2, it has a well-known neighbor that has this IP address, which is router2's IP address on its gigabit 0.0.0, .0, .0 interface. So it's good that they are neighbors, but I would like to see what routes that they actually put into BGP. And that's where show IP BGP is a good thing. These are the routes that are being advertised into the BGP. And here you can see that router one has learned the 10.2.2.0 network. And it has learned it by this next hop, which is the address of router two. This route can be seen in the show IP route command as well as seen here, which you can see it has a B where it has learned this route to router 2. The same goes for R2, which we are on now, and it has learned the 10.1.10 address, which is R1's interface, sorry, network that it is advertising to BGP. So they both know the networks that both are advertising. That's about it. A very simple configuration, how to put it up. Uh, I hope this has helped you and been informative and I hope to see you in my next video. Just one last more thing is that I will be putting this down in the video description so you can actually just copy paste it if you need it in a lab that you want to make. So hope to see you in the next as well. <laughs> Bye!